Chapter 1, Abducted. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dead Men Plays Mother Russia Bleeds. So, we've woken up in this mysterious place. Don't really know what's going on. Our head is killing us. Busting down the door. So, we're being trapped in this mysterious place. We need our injection of- Whoa, boy! So, that injection stuff we're given, they're needly, you know, induced things to help us, uh, keep- Okay, that's gonna hurt. So, like I was saying earlier, there seems to be at least somewhat of an emphasis on the ability to, um, you know, knock people down and keep them down. And she just kind of pummel them when they're down, get them knocked out. Stop the guys from ramping up in numbers. And that's one criticism I have heard about this game, at least towards the end, is that it's... Difficulty ramping kind of eventually turns to... Um, it's difficulty ramping kind of eventually just turns into, um... You know, too many enemies on screen. Okay, so I knew about that mechanic, so you can recharge yourself by beating up certain people. Okay, so now I got my super mode. Just... The one I currently have, I think it's like an overall kind of... Oh boy, what's going on? We got some hallucinations and some vomit. This whole setup is pretty fascinating. I really like the look of everything. Uh, looks like we got some weapons now. Let's see if we can actually get a couple. Get one or two. I haven't played like a really good side-scrolling beat-em-up in a while. I think it's kind of one of those genres that people enjoy, but I can't really think of example of one being made in like the immediate I guess it just kind of depends on where you're looking I'm sure there's some decent ones that people like but as far as I'm concerned I haven't run into one in a while that's really like thrown me for a for a loop but overall this one like look feels fine it feels responsive and, as always, you just have that really awesome Revolver digital art style. Um, got some really sick imagery out there, which is pretty cool. There we go. Some crazy experiment stuff. Even the, even the blood is kind of so, like this twisted... Oh, even the bat bends when you... That's cool. We got a guy who can suck stuff up from right here, so it makes sense we use our, our stuff and just keep this momentum going. Oh, I see how you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to actually literally do it as this thing of momentum. Just kind of... Oh, shit. I got killed. One death down. Let's keep going. Oh, fire, 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 that's no good. Fire, not good. Fire, no good at all. So this is supposed to be like Cold War-ish kind of thing, which is, I mean, to be fair, that's where like almost everything we get thematically out of Russia seems to do is do these kind of like pseudo Cold War-ish kind of dark fantasy kind of things. But this one, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Um, I'm just waiting to see, see in some ways these these uh, mechanics get more, like a little bit more complicated and stuff like that as we go, but let's see how it keeps building. Oh, that one doesn't help. I need to be better at this. I think I'm just not using my abilities to their Potential. I mean, to be fair, I am using the jump speed character, so I think that, like, using my abilities more 
This could be something I need to really get used to, just to make the absolute most out of what's going on here. Or else I'm not taking advantage of the character I'm using. I mean, I understand why it is in these kind of games that it's always the female character that's kind of like the technical but less physically strong. I mean, it, I'm not gonna say it doesn't make any sense, it's just, you know, it, it, I still appreciate it when they can make, it can still feel the incentive of why you should pick that particular character out of the group of, out of the group of people you're given. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, when they pummel you down, that always throws me off a bit. Oh, you can knives just one hit. So depending on how fast you get to people, I think you get a different amount of stuff. That seems to be interesting. It's a lot of cool stuff overall. I like where this is going. Got these pigs now. Find a way out. And I got like zombified shit. That's it's not unsettling at all. But they don't attack me, which is strange. Oh, those pigs take quite a bit though. Man, you take a lot of damage getting knocked down, but you also do a lot of damage by knocking people down, so. Gotta keep that in mind, that seems to still be the, the trying to teach you here. Man, now I'm just getting mobbed. Maybe I can just beat up a bunch of them and see where, oh, nope, knocked down. So many of them, jeez. So, Streets of Rage is the main one I think I've played a lot of. My wife, um, she had it as a kid, so when we started collecting retro games, that was like one of the first ones she wanted to get was Streets of Rage 2. Um, we actually think we had all three of them at one point, but we, we eventually went away from our retro collections because she started going into VHS tape collecting and that took up like our entire living room. We have so many retro VHS, VHS tapes. It's not even funny. Like 500 just spread out across different shelves of different genres and all sorts of just crazy stuff. Um, our main one right now is she's trying to find a uh, VHS copy of Sleepaway Camp 3 Teenage Wasteland. It's the only one in the trilogy she doesn't have yet. And so obviously that means she's got to be obsessed about finding it. There we go. How do you get out of the... Damn. Okay, so the strong strikes are specifically what knock you out of getting knocked down to the ground. And a lot of these jump strikes keep people knocked down more quickly. None of these guys, they still tremor like the other ones, which is weird. They don't give you really any way to, you can't suck their stuff out, so. Um, which even then, that, that concept is a little strange. Like, that's still, still part of the lore we're experimenting with. Um, one complaint I do think I have so far is enemies that get caught on the side of the screen. That is happening a lot. Um, I mean, if you're the same kind of problem with Golden Axe, I mean, I played a lot of Golden Axe too growing up. Um, I mean, it was always in, like, every Sega collection or whatever, like, because I wasn't a Sega kid growing up. Um, I actually only got into Sega games later on when I got a Retron 5. Which is a shame, because a lot of the, the better beat-em-ups are on that console. But let's see. I think I just walk. It's like 
walking by casually is you just oh they just don't tell you that you can absorb them but you just know that anybody that twitches okay can still have their stuffs taken okay that makes so much more sense oh now I'm on fire Did that to take the bat the bat to take him out Alright, so unfortunately I hope I don't run into a boss battle, because I'm going to be in trouble. Is there any way for- I don't know if there's even any way to run into, like, actual health recovery, but hopefully that doesn't just leave me dead. But in order to figure that out, you'll have to tune in next time to Dead Men Plays Mother Russia Bleeds. Every Let's Play I do, somehow will come up with some excuse to make that voice. That's just the way it is. Welcome back to Dead Man Plays Mother Russia Bleeds. Still dealing with the zombified folk, it appears. All right, forgot, gotta hit him on the floor. Getting some darker imagery here. That's pretty cool. I like the even. I didn't even notice the tattoos. Oh, that is so cool. See, it's it's not even that complicated of a thing. It doesn't even like obscure your vision that much. It's just thematically, it's interesting. Oh God! What the hell is that guy? Oh, shit. Well, that was gonna kill me. I'll have to get somebody else to play this with me, hopefully, on a future episode. I'm really enjoying this, but, you know, co-op would be probably even more fun. Fun for the whole family! No, no, not really. Not, not, not fun for the whole family. Um, you know, terrifying nightmare fuel for the whole family, but... Oh, I start with full because, um, new life. Good to know. We re-enter into the arena! Try this again. Oh, she still punches like a son of a gun. Is there a strategy with this guy, or do I have to hit him hard enough? Jeez. We just pack so much of a wallop, but. I kind of have unlimited stuff because we've got everything to. S so much to absorb from everywhere. So I kind of just keep hyping myself up and hit him. So let's just hope I can just hit him hard. There we go! In the face! Heading to the surface world! New arena unlocked. So, I said catharsis, and gotta say, doesn't disappoint in that regard. Jeez.